In this article, Ali talks about reverse learning, what it is, how it works, the problems, the benefits and how it can help students of all levels and ages to learn. In the reverse classroom, more and more traditional aspects or stages of learning are done online, and the tasks or stages of the application fall into the classroom. Reverse learning benefits both teachers and students. Reverse learning requires a degree of autonomy from students. Even assuming that everyone has access to some form of technology, not all technologies are the same, so teachers need to find out what their students can access and design their reverse learning. Classes with these limitations in mind, they have to deal with high-level tasks such as analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, which are reverse learning that gives them more time. This is where a lot of time can be saved, because teachers create and upload videos that students can see and understand at home. But by changing what we post online, reverse learning can also make youth education more effective. Student-centered learning develops student autonomy and autonomy, making them responsible for their own learning process. Listen to the latest Pearson podcast, in which Ollie talks about reverse learning and its benefits. In addition, student-centered instruction better prepares you for life outside of school by providing lifelong learning and problem-solving opportunities. In addition, many teachers returning to the classroom are forced to give hybrid lessons where half the class looks at home and the other students are present in the classroom. All of this is also easier to do due to the time saved from back teaching. Since the learning happens at home, the teacher can now create tasks faster and spend more time helping the students to complete the task. Active learning is a learning method where students are actively involved in the learning process. 